Brewery Review. Let's go. It's the Brewery Review. Let's go. It's the Brewery Review. Everybody get your hands up for the Brewery Review. Come on, everybody, let's dip it on back. Body, head, and cap, show me what you got on that tap. Cause it's K-Dog and Mr. GMC. Everybody here knows that it's BYOB. Tell me how it tastes. Tell me, tell me how it smells. Is it that old bud or that yang ling hell? But it's time to get it started, so we started off right. It's the Brewery Review. Whoa, good way to start off this brew review with the burp, but Thank what's you. going on guys and gals, and we are back for yet another fun edition of the brew review, as you can see. Yes! And we got something rather different, but... We're, we're from, going out to the yard to, for tonight's brew review. Yeah, so we go to Philadelphia today. The city of brotherly love. And as you can see on the bottle, established in 1994, we go around, got a little cap shot, hope I don't drop it, oh, don't otherwise that. that would suck balls, <laughs> and you got the little emblem there. Extra Special Ale, ESA, our first brood. Yep, and Yards Brewing Company. Let's go around the bottle here. you got government warning and all the common sense bullshit that people forget to think about. Or they get drunk and think it's a challenge. And if you like their beer, you can go to them at this address. <laughs> if you can see Come it. on. Come on! There. Or just... Put this in your GPS and it'll lead you right to the brewery. <laughs> so... Let me look at it. Jeez, you are in a hurry tonight for some reason. 6% alcohol by volume. Not bad. It's yeah. Kind of an average. The first beer ever crafted. Oh, this is their very first beer. We got their very first beer ever crafted. So if it's their very first beer ever crafted, ever, if it's their very first beer ever crafted, would that mean that it was made in 94? It was made in 1994. So we have a 21 year old beer almost. This beer Intended for the cast ale connoisseur, extra special ale is a robust and hearty, hearty amber ale with a malt body and aromatic hop finish. Oh shit! This just this just gave me an idea. What's that? We need to do a brew review on a beer that is literally older than us. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we might end might end up going to the hospital. We or might something. be dead then. So yeah. Um. Oh, dash it all. I must be getting a touch of Alzheimer's. How do we do this again? What what do we do as tradition? You got a brain fart, but now that we've passed the brain fart, what we're going to do, do I think the cap test, that. the body and head test, the, the drink test, the draft test, the burp test, hopefully not the peep test, and all that good stuff. Yeah, so, allow so, me. And no, hopefully not the spill test either. No, we're not So, doing that. without further ado, let's get started. So, it doesn't say if it is or is not, so let's give this a whirl. And it's... Not. I kind of guessed that. Not at all. Yards keeps their brew nice and tight. They keep what nice and tight? Their brew. Their what? Oh, their never brew. mind. So he smells it. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of has a hint of an ale flavor to it. All right, so let me smell it. That. He sticks his nose directly in that. Yes, you're, there is a little bit of that. A uh, hint. It's that great fruit of grape grass-like smell. But it, it's there, but it's not overbearing. Yeah. As far as that goes. Well, because it's not just an ale. This is an extra special ale. Let's oh, yeah? Let's see if it's extra special good or if it extra special sucks. Once again, finger up. Good, bad. It's an ale. Oh, by the way, don't forget to watch Sideshow side show Saturday mm -hmm. whenever we feel like putting them up. It's just like the brew review, only we're doing snack reviews. Or whatever reviews. Yeah. It's definitely an ale. Not that, too thrilled, though, huh? The, the first taste. It's one of those where the first taste is going to get you. So, how's it going, everybody? Hey, how are you? I'm oh, pretty good. Long time no see. Yeah. What are you drinking? I'm drinking Philadelphia's own Yard Brewing Company Estevis 1994 Extra Special Ale. Let's try it. Had to read the whole fucking thing. Could have just said Yard's Extra Special Ale, but no, he has to outshine me. 
Okay. Flavor burst. And flavor burst. Yeah, you're right. It's an ale. It does leave... The initial taste mm. gets you. It leaves... Ugh, the aftertaste. Yeah. See, this is what happens. The aftertaste kills it a lot of times. But it... But it depends on how long it sticks around. Yeah, the second time, though, it kind of dulls it out. Yeah, like, like the very first swig was like... Ugh. Now, is it me, or does it taste, like, really strong? I mean, for 6.0, it tastes a lot stronger mm. than what I thought it would. Well, you gotta wonder if the labeling is really true. I mean, it could actually be stronger than what it says. Yeah, so extra fancy glass for this one. <laughs> yes, we got the porgasm going on here. Yes. Oh, it's dark. Wow, look at the head on that. that See? A See? There's about an inch of head there. Frothy on head. Dark. Yeah, the women love the head. It's a dark ale, as you can see. And the carbonation looks a lot smaller mm, in the bubbles. Yes. So we... Yeah, we really uh, dissect into this pretty deep here at the, at the whip. It smells a lot better in the glass. A lot more better? A lot more better in the glass, it smells. You know what? I can't smell it as much in the glass. I think it's the head. It might. Well, they actually say that the head has more of the aroma. Here, you want to try the drink? Yes, I will, I will try. Do the honors. Give the extra fancy glass. So I have to... Extend my pinky extra. Is that the type of glass they serve at tender? Yeah. There he is. Romeo! Romeo, come over here and give me an extra special ale. Uh, could you please take off your hats? <laughs> you body little monkeys, you. $25 steak. And that was with a coupon, people. With no sides. Yeah, the, the beer was cheaper, but... Yeah, we look like sore thumbs sides, sticking out. The sides cost extra. Remember how bad the music sucked? Yeah. As, I love about ten. Yeah, minutes we're not. We're this. talking about ten. As with all ales, much better in a glass. But again, it is an ale, and it will dry you out. And that aftertaste is not going away. Maybe it's just that initial, that initial well, first taste you take, because it it actually redeemed itself a little bit right there. It is much better in, in draft. I but agree. I'm, I'm but still, I think it I think it redeemed itself right there in the glass. Well, I'll, I'll give it this: the aftertaste compared to some of the ones that we've had, way better than it has been. Well. What I've noticed, though, yeah, you get the aftertaste like you'd normally do with these ales, mm -hmm. but it doesn't stick around as much. No, it, no, and it, it goes I mean, away it's there, rather but quick. it's not like strong. You yeah. can wash it down with something else pretty <clears throat> easily. Yeah, it goes away rather quick. So, <sighs> ratings, 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 ratings. This, hmm, I'm thinking here. This is what a uh, what's his face at Devil Inc would do. <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm I'm stroking my um, yeah. I'm thinking, thinking here. Yeah. Well, if I had to rate it, ah oh, shit, I'm just gonna go. How about I'll be generous three. It's okay. Well, I was kind of thinking three too, but for the you gotta glass it. That's for sure. You it's Definitely. a must glass beer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't so, chuck that thing out of a bottle. If I would have strictly done bottle, I would have said three also, but for the simple fact that it kind of redeemed itself in the glass, I, I'll give it a three and a half. It's mm. definitely six-pack worthy, in my opinion. I mean, it's good. It's okay. Better. But it's, it's nothing that's, like, memorable or sticks out. Yeah, hell of a lot better than some of the ales we've done. Right, so, in conclusion, it gets a fair rating. Yeah, it's fair. Yep. That's about as fair as I can My only get. real criticism has to has got to be the like the first initial taste mm -hmm. and the aftertaste. But again, if you're into ales, you're probably used to that and you like that taste. And there you go. So there you go. If but, you like ales, boom. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this this edition of the Brew Review featuring Philadelphia's own Yards Brewing Company Extra Special Ale. Our first brood. Extra special ale. Yeah. And it's funny that the address is on North Delaware Avenue in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Explain so that one to me. Go GPS it. But anyway, we'll see you next week.